Hey, what's up, my freaksters? Today's July 3rd, 2022. Tomorrow's my favorite holiday besides Halloween. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Boop, boop. I'm excited. I love fireworks and I love creepy stuff. <laughs> but I got something to tell you. As of tomorrow, July 4th, my Uncle Gary's going to be off of work for a whole week. And he's already starting on me. And today's Sunday. He's already starting this crap with me. As soon as he came home, he saw me on the couch. He said, get off your fat ass and come and get what I bought for you. I was like, um, okay. He went to Speedway, and like, you know, the Speedway gas station, obviously. And he got me and my mom each a couple of those tornadoes. They're like these round tube-looking things with meat inside. And a, a wrapped-up shell or something. I can't explain it. It's like an anorexic burrito, okay? <laughs> and he bought... There's this new thing called peanut butter strawberry jam flavored cappuccino he bought me a couple of them and him one and he got my mom a white chocolate caramel um a white chocolate caramel cappuccino my mom brought mine over to me when i was sitting on the couch and he said oh he's so spoiled his Freaking little mother has to bring a cappuccino to a big boy. Aw, he's so spoiled. I said, fine, I'll, I could get up and get it myself. He said, no, you're going to have your slave. I mean, your mommy get it for you. I do, it, I do stuff myself. Then a little bit ago, I said I wish I had some Tic Tacs. Because I like those Tic Tacs since I don't do drugs. I pop Tic Tacs in my mouth as if they were pills. <laughs> that way it keeps me from becoming a druggie, you know. I don't like that stuff. Say no to drugs, kids. If somebody offers you something in the baggie, run. <laughs> but anyway, then after he offered to go get me some Tic Tacs with my mom, I was home alone. They went to Cambridge, Indiana before they left. He said, huh, she better not be go making me go just to get all the way to Cambridge, Indiana, just to get one pack of Tic Tacs. That's ridiculous. Oh, last night, me and my mom were watching The Minions. You know, those little twinkie-looking characters that talk, The Minions. We freaking love those things. Gary saw me and my mom watching it on the Sci-Fi channel. And he said, Psh, two adults watching cartoons. <laughs> That's ridiculous. My mom said, well, you watch cartoons. He said, well, it's different when I do it. And then he said, Cody obviously watches cartoons because he's mentally retarded. He watches cartoons because he's got the mind of a child. Get, But think about it, y'all. If... Adults were too old for cartoons. There wouldn't be adults making cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Yeah, he's off for seven days. So please pray for us. One like on this video equals one prayer. So keep giving likes and praying for me, please. Pray that me and my mom are okay. Oh, tomorrow, 4th of July is going to be a real good day. Also, not just because of the fireworks, but she's going to be hearing from her lawyer and from a doctor in Richmond, Indiana named Brandon Guth or something. I can't, I can't pronounce his last name too good. Slight dyslexic. About to lose it. Can't think straight. Um, but yeah, she's going to be hearing from them tomorrow about her Ozempic lawsuit. She's gonna put a giant lawsuit because only two doses of Ozempic like I said before literally almost killed my mother so we're, we're she's wanting when she gets tons of money she's wanting to give me some so I can start a band I'm gonna start a rock band in Hollywood
Let me make sure I'm still recording. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start a rock band in Hollywood. I got a friend here in Hagerstown, Indiana. His name's Brian Hall. That's B R Y A N H A L L. I think that's right. Yeah. Sorry, sometimes my dyslexic stuff acts up. I kind of can't think straight. Like, think if I spell something right or not. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, we're, me and his going to start a rock band. She's going to give me $100,000 for my band. It's going to have it, the title of it's going to be Hollywood. Then I'm not going to tell the other part of the title because somebody might steal it. Let me tell you all the jobs I want to do in life. Author, inventor, actor, voice actor, rock star, comedian, movie maker, YouTuber. Want to own all kinds of businesses. I got a tote. I'm talking a massive tote full of ideas. That will make me probably America's first trillionaire. But don't worry. No matter how rich I become, I'm not better than anybody. It's just money, you know. Money's just money. You can't take it to heaven with you when you go up to the pearly gates, you know, up there. <laughs> I don't know why my voice got high. What happened? Let's, oh, we got a special guest in my videos. What's up, Lucky? What's shaking bacon? What's crack a in the dog pound? Huh? Don't worry, I didn't leave you. They all left you, but I didn't. You know why? Because I love you, boy. Jump, jump. Good boy. Oh. I even want him to be a star in a show someday. Yeah, you want to be on television? Don't be a snobby little beagle. <laughs> oh. I was going to say something else. Oh. You know who inspired me to want to become a rock star and an actor in Hollywood? Johnny Depp. That guy is freaking awesome. I know I'm not as good looking as Johnny Depp. Nobody is. There's only one Johnny Depp in Hollywood, and I sure ain't him. Nobody will ever beat the looks of Johnny Depp. And I say this in a non-gay way, so calm down. Nah, I don't, I'm not gay. That's just gross. No, now don't get me wrong. If I ain't got any gay subscribers, I promise I do like you. I like gay people in a way that I will be friends with them as long as they don't touch me. That's, that's it, okay? So please don't leave no hate comments or nothing because I apologize in advance if I said something to offend you, okay? Yeah, I've had people tell me I look like I belong in Hollywood. I've had people tell me I look like I, like I said, belong in Hollywood. I've had people tell me I look like I belong on the, like on the streets, homeless. I've had people tell me I look like I should kill myself. I've even had people tell me I got the face of a person that knows where to get drugs. They even tell me I look high all the time. What are they talking about? <laughs> One time, somebody asked me if I'd done drugs. I said, yeah, I smoked your mother's crack. <laughs> Left a brown stain on my lips. <laughs> That's just gross. That's gross. That's gross. Oh, I had a girl on time ask me, can you go F yourself? You know, F-U-C-K yourself. I said, why would I do that when you can do it for me? Then another girl, she asked or told me, go to hell. I asked her, why does your mother miss me? Uh, she left me alone. I don't know if you've heard this noise in the background. If you did, I'm sorry. We got our air conditioner on, the fan on, the black fan. I call it the black blower. <laughs> got the ceiling fan on and I'm watching a history channel show whoa she's hot hottie oh little girl she's cutie <laughs> <laughs>